This is Darshana Gauchen with your B2B Cambodia market update for July 18, 2024. The Cambodia Securities Exchange Index was up by 1.05 points or 0.25% to 415.87. Total trade volume was higher than yesterday, 121,111 shares changed hands at a total value of roughly 537.7 million Khmer real or around 130,900 US dollars. Four stocks were up on the main board, with the Phnom Penh Autonomous Port leading the market, up by 1.81% or 280 real to 15,780 real per share, followed by Grand Twins International, which was up 0.90% or 30 real to 3,350 real per share. The other two stocks up were MJQ Education and CamGSM. Only one stock, the Scenic Ville Autonomous Port, was down, dropping 0.17% or 20 real to 12,080 real per share. The remaining four stocks on the main board, Phnom Penh Water Supply Authority, Royal Group Phnom Penh SEZ, Akleda Bank, and Pestec Cambodia remained flat. Over on the growth board, JS Land was up 1.98% or 70 real to 3,600 real per share, while DBD Engineering share price remained flat for the fourth day in a row at 2,090 real per share. Royal Group Phnom Penh SEZ recorded the highest trade volume of the day, with 51,170 shares changing hands at a total value of roughly 115.6 million real or 28,170 US dollars, making up around 40% of all shares traded on July 18th. Grand Twins International recorded the second highest trade volume of the day, with 23,798 shares changing hands, accounting for close to 19% of Thursday's trade volume. The Khmer Real to USD weakened slightly to 4,107 real per US dollar, while the US dollar index was slightly up to 103.83. In other market news, Telco Tech announced to its investors and the public that Kwa Chin Hong has been selected as the new chief executive officer of the company. He was announced into this role on June 1, 2024, but was only officially appointed by the board of directors on July 18. Telco Tech Limited, a telecom infrastructure company under the Royal Group of Companies, previously launched its official $20 million bond on the Cambodia Securities Exchange for the second time in early January 2024. The bond is guaranteed by the Asian Development Bank-backed Credit Guarantee and Investment Facility. In more business-related news, the Khmer Times reported that the China Road and Bridge Corporation has finalized the feasibility study for the proposed Phnom Penh Siem Reap Poi Pet Expressway and is now compiling a report to submit to the Cambodian government for review and evaluation. This is Cambodia's third expressway project after the second, the Phnom Penh Bavet Expressway, began construction in 2023. According to the feasibility study, the project is divided into two phases. The first phase, stretching 249 kilometers from Phnom Penh to Siem Reap, has a budget of 2.5 billion US dollars. The second phase, from Siem Reap to Poi Pet, has a length of 151 kilometers and an estimated cost of 1.7 billion US dollars. Moving on to commodities, oil prices extended gains on Thursday, buoyed by a bigger-than-expected decline in crude stocks in the United States, the world's largest oil consumer. U.S. crude inventories fell by 4.9 million barrels last week, data from the U.S. Energy Information Administration showed. Brent crude futures rose 41 cents or 0.5% to 85.49 U.S. dollars a barrel. Gold prices, meanwhile, rose, hovering near a record high scaled in the previous session as rising anticipation of a U.S. interest rate cut in September lifted demand for non-yielding bullion. Spot gold was up 0.5% at $2,470.62 US dollars per ounce. Prices hit an all-time high of $2,483.60 US dollars on Wednesday. U.S. gold futures also climbed 0.5% to $2,473.10 US dollars. A rebound in chip stocks lifted Nasdaq and S&P 500 futures on Thursday as Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Co.'s upbeat forecast and results looked set to boost the sector following a sharp sell-off in the previous session. Dow futures also edged lower after the index notched its third consecutive closing high on Wednesday. As of the time of the Cambodian market's closing, Dow futures was down 0.10%, while the S&P 500 was up 0.28% and Nasdaq was up 0.58%. This was Darshan Gauchen with your B2B Cambodia market update for July 18th.